Nothing is free. Private jet owner refuses to bring Harry back to the US after Meg evaded paying the bill. Royals from across Europe and around the world have arrived at Buckingham Palace for a glitzy state dinner on the eve of King Charles's coronation, amid reports that Prince Harry has landed in the UK for the coronation on a private jet yesterday morning. A private jet was photographed touching down in Farnborough, the VIP airport closest to Windsor Castle, around 65 kilometres from central London, from Van Nuys private airport in California, with the Duke of Sussex said to be on board. If the Duke has used a fuel-guzzling private jet instead of a commercial flight, it will raise yet more questions about Harry's campaigning on climate change, an issue which he claimed at the UN last year had left him feeling battered and helpless. He flew from Van Nuys on a 20-seat private jet owned by Dr. Patrick Soon Xiong, the richest man in Los Angeles. Dr. Soon Xiong owns the LA Times. He's also part owner of the LA Lakers. And weren't Harry and Meghan there just last week? Unfortunately for them, ultra-rich owners of private jets don't grow on trees. They don't get or stay rich by handing out freebies. Owning and leasing renting things is common practice. A source close to the owner of the plane today revealed that Harry was shocked when he saw the bill. He used the plane when he thought Dr. Patrick lent Meghan it. Meanwhile in Montecito, Harry's beloved wife Meghan Markle is refusing to pay. It's expected that Harry will have to fly back to the US by commercial plane. He's probably scared to fly into England on a commercial flight. Can you imagine? That would be the coldest flight that he's ever been on. Commercial airlines probably don't want him either. Remember the photo where he was in first class and put his dirty feet on the wall in front of him? It's gross. Neil Sean saying last year that the Harkles plan on buying their own private jet, but they don't have enough money yet. Even when there's a symbiotic relationship that benefits the jet owner, this occurs. And borrowing is still limited due to the wear and tear on these jets for lengthy trips and the psychological need for jet owners to believe they always have their jet ready at their disposal. A 10,000 mile round trip with wages and accommodations for a full flight crew is going to set Harry back quite a bit. Harry's attending his father's coronation without wife Meghan Markle, who's remained in the US with their two children, Archie and Lilibet. Today also marks Archie's fourth birthday. It's expected that Harry won't attend the gala dinner, but will be seated in the Abbey for the official service before making the trip back to the US. It comes after Prince William and Kate Middleton joined King Charles for an impromptu walkabout down the mall on Friday morning, much to the excitement of eager royal watchers, some of whom had been camped out since last weekend. The crowd has swelled significantly across Friday, with thousands arriving to claim their spot ahead of today's procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey.